Yo yo all my game musicians out there, this is DM Nacho Zobo. Double O, short for short, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon... Uh, what's his face? So, last time we... Had a very Pyrrhic victory. We, we scored a very Pyrrhic victory against the rival. Thank goodness we saved State to beat him, but yeah, anyway, that was all good, and you know... I ran out still bitching about it, but anyway, um, now that we are in a new town, let's see if we can find a gym of some sort. Cheerily is so- oh, I, I guess that Jigglypuff-like fellow over there is a Cheerily. So cute, I will never let it become a menopause. Get it, menopause? Che oh, oh, I like that cry, that- Chew! Chew! I really want a Picotin, so I'm trading my Pizzilla for one. Pizzilla! Pizzilla! I'm trading Pokemon with that kid there. I had two Picotton, so I figured I might as well trade one for the Cotton Gin. <laughs> okay. Now let's see if we can... Oh, yeah, yeah! There was that one NPC down the road here. Hopefully we don't get spotted, but let's just see. I'm guessing that... I, I mean, I have a sneaky suspicion that you are a trainer, so let's see if I can just kind of circle around you and not get spotted by you. Or, okay, maybe not. Maybe just an NPC. I believe the morning sun's always going to shine again. Because it hasn't really shined bef or shone before. Oh, boy. All the NPCs in this game, they offer no sort of advice. Trainer tips. This game was purposely designed not to be nuzlocked. <laughs> but if you seem to think you have the balls for it, be my guest, buddy. Well, okay, I guess I'll keep that in mind just in case I ever decide ever decide to do a Nuzlocke run, which I probably won't. Especially not against the rival, oh my god. I swear I saw a blue blob thing around here somewhere. I wonder if you're talking about um, that one blob from Dragon Quest. Let's see. My dog, sit. My dog. Bark! I like that barking cry too. Who are you? Hey there, kid. I'm trading something that's good against the gym leader's Pokemon. You look a great deal like Nopio. My god, look at that face. Do you have a gutsy fly? No, I'll give you a prawn for it, but I'll give you a poncho instead. Hmm, <laughs> guess you don't need my help. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you look more like a naked guy with just his pants on. I don't know. Or his shoes. No, actually, no, that looks more like his pants. You know, he's just a... It's a sumo wrestler sprite, even though he doesn't look fat. <laughs> Let's inside this house, you may wonder. Maybe something interesting, or maybe not. My grandson has so much anger built up in... Oh, let me guess he's gonna join the dark side later on. I'm afraid he'll one day flame on an anonymous image board and be a troll or something. I used to watch the Fortune Cup before it got rigged by gay-loving neckbeards. Oh, so you're an anarcho-capitalist then. Okay, well, I'll totally ignore you. <laughs> Actually, no, maybe not. Um, since you have a... Since you have a um, disdain for them, I guess I'll call you an anarcho-syndicalist or something. I don't know. Because syndicalism is way cooler than anarcho-capitalism. Now that I say that, I'm going to anger a lot of my anarcho-capitalist friends. But, you know, I mean, Roy, really, though, to me, I don't think anarcho-capitalism really belongs in the same category as anar anarchism in general, because, I mean, anarchism, generally speaking, is a more, it's, it's more associated with the left wing on the spectrum. I swear I saw a blue blob thing, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's more of a far left ideology. It's just, what am I doing? I'm, I keep visiting these same houses. It's just, it's more of a far-left ideology. Oh, well, what's going on here? All right, team, move out. Oh, this must be the syndicate for this game. Fairy types come from the moon. That's what the story is. I guess that's the reason why Clefairy and Jigglypuff, or even though Jigglypuff doesn't technically come from the moon, I guess that's the reason why Clefairy is a fairy type now. But everyone knows that's just an old folktale. Well, maybe. I mean, it happened in the anime, so it might as well occur in the games as well. Hello there, kid! Do you like having fun? How about I teach you a little... Mm, uh, I don't want to, but... 
That's it. Wow, all of them are able to do that. Um, I wonder if I should get rid of a move for an Aussie on here. I'm not going to use Screech, but uh, I might as well. No. No, forget it. Right now, though, I'm going to stock up on potions. Wait, wait, what? Where is this music from? I know I've heard this music somewhere. Okay, let's see. Luckily, I have plenty of antidotes. I don't have enough for Paralyzed Heals, but I will surely earn some more if I find a gem. Yes, here's the gem! And, oh, actually, what does the sign have to say? Gadak City, developed on the kernel of technology. Popcorn kernels, that is. Mmm, <laughs> kernels. Brock, what is Brock doing here? The rocks... What is Brock doing here? He is in the wrong region. He is in the wrong parallel universe here. Oh. Oh, this is a different arrangement of the... of the gym theme. Wow. Hiya! Do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? Well, guess what? You will never obtain that dream. I'm no trainer, but I can help you out. I'll help you get there. Let me take you the, to the top. If you want to rock and roll... Uh, yay for fresh... I'm glad that all these caretakers, you know, ever since Gen 5 onwards are giving me all these fresh... Tr fresh waters here. Hmm. Fresh water bottles. Brock specializes in rock types, of course. But you probably already knew that because I've faced this guy before. Let me guess, you're the light years guy. Oh, wait, let me guess. Brock, you can only face Brock if you teleport to that one tile. Wow, what a truism. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000. Yep, here we go. Here's the obligatory light years guy. And I like this. I like the um, background here. Or I should say, I like the foreground. Um, Battle, um, battle graphics. It's pretty nice. And yeah, for Armando, which looks very poopy looking. My god. So, are you a rock type or aren't you a rock? Oh, actually, no, maybe you're more like a, a fighting type. I could test Bite Out, but I really don't want to bother with that. Now, Liam, you, yeah, you have a fur Nazi, sure. Or a fur Nazi. Yeah, I guess it's a furnace with a Nazi color. I don't know. Oh, please don't. Okay, good. I'm glad you didn't decide to um, obliterate me with that one rock, rock throw. Now, Harden is probably going to be a dick in the shit. So, let's try bite. There we go. I bit the furnace, and you bit the bullet. And I bit the flame, so I have to heal myself. Darn! I lo oh, you're not gonna give me a um. You're still a thousand years away, a thousand light years away. Retort or something. Well, that's a shame. You're pretty hot, but not as hot as. Yep, yep, yep. You're still the same guy. You're still that same old annoying guy. Okay, so let us teleportation! Let us teleport to... What the fuck is this? So now we are on a meteor. So we're actually going to battle on a meteor. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Brock, why are you on a meteor? Just right in the middle of what appears to be outer space here or something. Or let me guess, this is literally light years away. I think I get the joke now. <laughs> I unfortunately can't do a good Eric Stewart voice, but anyway. So, you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Gadex Gym Leader. Which is really funny, because I'm supposed to be back in Pewter. My rock-hard willpower is evident even in my Pokémon. My Pokémon are all rock-hard and have and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokémon are all the rock type. Fwaaaaah! You're gonna challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's a trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your... What the... You, my friend, are now no longer in my circle of friends. My god. 
Anyone who calls anyone a faggot is a fag. Okay, a land shell. That is def that definitely that definitely does not look like a rock. But it, I guess it's super effective, so that makes it a rock. And the gym music is very derpy sounding. What the fudge is this music? Yeah, it's kind of cool, I'm not going to lie, but it's not... Yeah, it's actually kind of catchy. I'm kind of banging my head here. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are a douchebag. But I will actually come out come out triumphant in the end here if I... Yeah, if I just give it a little bit more of my true grit determination. And while I evolve in this episode, I guess we'll soon find out, my game musicians, my game shish kebabs. Balakol, barnacles, we have a balakol. Which, again, looks kind of drippy. It looks more like two claws with two basketballs with eyes. You know, with faces. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this is. I mean, it looks a little bit more like Bongo Bongo's basketball, basketball hands or something. With beaks. Stop using defense curl. You are not Metapod. And again, what is this music? It's just all oh, this is da 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 da. I could just I could wear my tap shoes and do this, but unfortunately I don't have tap shoes, so I can't tap dance to this music. Instead, I'll give it the old soft shoe, Chomp Pest. Let me guess, it looks like a chain chomp. Nope, it looks more like a, tre a, a very angry treasure chest from Super Mario RPG. Okay, sure. You will still. I can't believe this is also a rock type. I mean, it looks a great deal more like a, a normal type to me, actually. You know, just thinking of a wooden treasure chest makes me think more normal than rock. Okay, well. Let me use that fresh water that, that Brock's caretaker gave me. Because I'm right now right in the middle of... I mean, I'm on, on the verge of becoming a, a hell of an asshole. No, not really. Yeah. Please don't kill me. Okay. You are a douchebag. Stop that. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, man. Uh, okay. If I lose to this guy... there I, I guess there's a reason why... It, there's a reason why this guy is right now two levels ahead of me here. Please, I hope I don't. Okay, I don't have to. W I don't want to waste all my potions here. My, uh, do I have any berries here I can use? Well, I can use um. Uh, okay. Well, I I don't want to use a. Shook a berry on that. I don't want to waste all my potions. You know, I'm gonna switch out and see if I can just. Actually, I could. Oh no! Guess what? It's gonna use rock throw. Ouch! Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am done. I am done for if I don't do any. If I don't do anything against this. Chomp pest like fast. My god. What the fuck is this guy? What the fuck is this guy? I should have save stated. Uh. Oh man, I'm gonna. Have, uh, I will have to face this guy. Uh, I'll have to do a rematch here or something. I'm sorry, guys. Oh boy, here we go. Well, I evolved, but... Okay. Yeah. I am right now just bowing my head in shame here because that's... Son of a... Son of a bitch! Okay, that looks really derpy looking. But yeah, excuse me while I cry in the corner right now. Because this game is very... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to do this, Nurse Joy. My god. I mean, do you have to treat me like a kindergartner here or something? 
Excuse me while I cry in a corner. Okay, can we finish this dumbass? Oh boy, I guess we'll find out. My god, I can't believe I blew a lot of potions on this. Okay, I, I'll have to do my very... Oh, no, that's bad. Well, let's just see if we can just finish him off this time. Hopefully with a better evolution. I might do a lot better here this time. I, I don't know. Again, Defense Curl is going to be a pain in the... Thank you for the critical hit. Why didn't I get that before? Okay, there we go. Now I'm at level 17. Hopefully I can finally beat this goddamn chest. Oh my god. Thank you for the critical. My god, why didn't I get those criticals before, game? Ah, <sighs> My god, this game can be kind of a monster here sometimes. Like all the other games I've played that, you know, were made by designers who don't exactly go by the usual conventions of the console games. My god. Or, excuse me, the handout games. Oh my god, why wasn't... Why was that easier? Why was that easier that round? Was it because my, um... My, um... Concert Master evolved, or what? What on earth happened? I took you for granted, and so I lost. God. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this. The official Pokemon League Border Badge. Thank you very much, and why do you still have the Border Badge? Why can't you just make it the Meteor Badge, since we battle, battled on a Meteor? Just having the Border Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the Move Flash outside of battle. That's okay, good. Of course, a Pokemon must know the Move Flash to use it. Uh, yay, I got the $14 that I sort of lost as a portion from that last humiliating loss. Wait, take this with you. Let me guess, it's Rock Tomb. Yep, yep, yep. Anyways, TM39 contains Rock Tomb. Yep, who, who called it? It hurls borders at the foe and lowers its speed. Do you have any parting words for me, you big dipshit, before I throw you off this meteor and you die finally? There are all kinds of trainers in this... Uh, uh, uh. Go to the gym and activate and test your abilities on Tumblerita. Yeah, that's right, Tumblerita, because Tumblr is definitely not a very existent reference here. You weren't expecting Misty, were you? Ha 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 ha, yeah. I mean, that wouldn't, that wouldn't have been that obvious, you know. God, great, I knew we could do it, yeah, even though it took another try just to get that stupid chest off my back. God, that, that chest, that chest, it, it's, it's going to leave me grueling a little bit. But anyway, I am done. That was quite a fight. First, the rival was hard. Now I had to had make it more of a challenge against Brock, too. And it's funny, too, because I had a grass starter. But anyway, we are done here, guys. And next time, we will be moving to activate with um, what it may be Misty 2.0. I, I don't know. But anyway, here we go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed my very forced screaming a little bit, but anyway, see you guys in a little bit.